to another video in this video we will see how you can create an on-demand flow or on-demand power automate and that we can call from power apps model driven apps right so we know that power automate is asynchronous right so it cannot be run on demand but how we can configure that on demand flow we can see here in this video so welcome to this video and my name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft MVP so let's get started so I am on the sales job right and I want to create a flow so I will go to power apps and I will go to create a solution always remember that to create an on demand flow you have to create a solution first because solution aware flow only can be created as a on demand flow right so click on new solution give a name here let's say i want to give workflow automation workflow automation then you have to choose a publisher here let me choose a publisher i have created and click on create as soon as you click create the solution will be listed in the solutions view click on the solution and add a new cloud flow as because i want to uh, create an on demand flow and that on demand flow should have a trigger that when a record is selected so click on new and click on automation select cloud flow and instant flow in the instant flow uh, you have to choose a different trigger so give a name here let's say i want to update lead description update lead as per annual revenue right now normally when you create instant flow you have to use manually trigger flow right which creates a button for your mobile and once you click that button uh, the flow will trigger but as because i want to create an on demand flow that can be triggered from this uh, dynamics 365 or uh, model driven apps entity or form so you have to go here and choose a trigger called as when a record is selected right when a row is selected this is a microsoft dataverse legacy connector click on create now as soon as you create you have to choose which environment and table for which you want to trigger this so choose the environment by default you have to select the environment as default you might have multiple environments with you but you have to select the default one for which you want to uh, trigger this flow for which entity or which table you want to trigger this flow i want to trigger from lead entity so choose lead and this is the leads entity and whenever you want to run this flow as an on demand do you want to pass some input parameter from dynamics 365 or power power apps or model different apps form yes let me choose a input parameter let me just use text for now and give let's say feedback so i can pass a feedback information uh, after a row is selected in model different apps and this flow will trigger on demand what action i want to perform whenever a row is selected and the flow is triggered you have to choose an action so click on new step i want to update lead the same lead record i want to update right so click on microsoft dataverse connector because i want to update the lead so choose update a row here you have to choose which table you want to update i want to update lead table so choose leads and which row so it should be lead not lead competitor and which row you want to update the row is dynamically picked in this row selection so you can search here lead so lead is the unique identifier of the lead primary key and what you want to update you want to update the description now you can use some conditional information also before updating right now let me just use uh, a condition right or i can just put whatever feedback you want to give here just i want to assign here in the description so i'll use feedback so this feedback is the input parameter coming from row selection step so click on the feedback so whatever feedback that you give here that will be updated in the description through the flow right you can also automate uh, the uh, actions as per your need right let's say you want to add something here click on add add an action 
and I want to do a condition okay the condition is whenever the annual revenue so in the condition I would I want to provide annual revenue of the lead if the annual revenue is greater than 500 or 5000 I want to update the row so I can drag and drop here and in the update row I want to mention in the description if the revenue is greater than 5000 it should update the description as VIP customer hyphen the feedback right if no if the annual revenue is less than 5000 I want to update something else so click on add an action in the negative part click on Microsoft Dataverse again click on update row and choose the entity leads And in the description you have to choose the row ID right the row ID is already available in the uh, row selection step and what uh, what you want to update I want to update description so let's say normal customer right if annual revenue is less than 5000 it is a normal customer and I want to assign the append the feedback to the description also right so you understand so whenever you select a record in Dynamics 365 or Power Apps, Model Driven Apps, you can click on this flow and as soon as you click this flow, you will see your flow listed here and once you click that flow, the Power Automate that you have designed here will trigger, right? And it will check the condition immediately if the annual revenue greater than 5000. If it is greater than 5000, it will update the row or description of the same lead and uh, if it is no then it will update the description with normal customer right now let us save this give a name here update lead as per annual revenue and click on save so i have saved this flow and now i want to publish the customization because the solutions that contains this flow should be published so click on publish all customization this solution only contains this workflow which is instant and on demand and that I want to run from a record selection so you have to wait for the publishing customization process So the publishing may take some uh, couple of seconds so we have to wait now you can see it is published successfully so I'll go to the entity and click on control f5 so that it will clear the cache and load the entity right now for this lead I want to uh, run the flow on demand right so to run the flow on demand I have to open the uh, selected record and in the select record I have to go to the command bar and in the command bar I have to click on flow and when you click on the flow it the uh, the power automate or the instant flow that you have created will be listed over here and that I can click on and to run it so so this is my lead right and here this annual revenue is 6000 now I want to update this description as per the logic so what I will do I will click on this flow and once I will click on this flow the uh, new flow that I have created will be listed out here if it is not displayed again so you have to refresh properly now it is displaying here so click on this update lead as per annual revenue now already annual revenue is 6000 now I want to give some feedback and run the flow instantly right which is called as on demand now i can click on continue the connection is identified for you click on connect continue give a feedback let's say this is new lead and i can run the flow as soon as i will run the flow the power automatically will run for me and i can click on refresh and i can click on details and you can see the description is updated right now it depends on you that what configuration you want to do with this instant flow and it will work for you.
so this is how we can configure on demand flow using power automate so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed this channel i will come with more videos for you guys thank you